Wait, what? Is that what I think it is? An old 240? We are back at the junkyard. I haven't been to this particular junkyard in a while, and I do not keep an inventory, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Bad because I cannot check the inventory, obviously, and good because no one else can check the inventory. So you really just have to come here and see what they have. And they honestly usually have the best stuff, so let's take a look around. An old truck, Oldsmobile something. <laughs> oh my God. It's always so strange seeing where these engines end up. Good old G35. Another thing about this yard is it's extremely muddy and I still did not get work boots. That's all right, we're gonna get through this. Hey, is that an Integra? What? No way. 98 front. So it's the door handles. Auto. Black interior though. Of course, the ECU is gone. Half of an axle. I wonder if someone bought the engine out of it. Let's see. Rusty, as usual. 98 taillights, although I think they're cracked. It's kind of warped. <laughs> Dang, this thing got smashed. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Please don't sink. There's no engine. If anyone needs a 98 front, that's a pretty good candidate. Mustang. Oh, here's that old Fiero. Well, it's actually pretty cool that the pop-ups go up with the hood. Is it supposed to do that? Yeah. What? I didn't know that. So when this goes up, looks like these little ridges push against these little plastic ridges here. That is so cool. Did you guys know that? I had no idea. Oh my gosh, dang it, we just got in here. Whoa, rear cut. Still has the engine. This car definitely belongs in here. I don't think I've seen one of these in here. A newer Challenger? Huh. Pretty complete, actually. Airbag went off. Front end damage? Yep. Not bad, though. Wow. Why is this rod so long? Still has the motor. A complete box truck. Interesting. Wonder if that's actually junk though. <laughs> Mini Cooper. This thing looks like it's in pretty good shape actually. Why did this get junk? Wow, why is this so nice? <laughs> what the heck? It actually smells like a nice car too. Owner's manual? Come on, man. It's a pretty big clock. Traction control. Everything is so circular in these cars. Everything's a circle or an oval. This is a decent car. What the heck? It's a Type S? What? Just for this little damage it got totaled? That's whack, man. This is just such a throwaway country, I swear. That could have easily been fixed. Another Mustang. Oh, here's that Mazda. This thing was in mint condition the last time I was here. I mean, it's still pretty nice. Man. There was not one flaw in this car, not even a scratch. 626. Yo, what is this thing? It's super cool. It's pretty straight, too. Blue interior. Fancy. I actually don't know what this is. Please let me know as I am uninformed. <laughs> Some old cars over here. Man, these are just so crazy. It's like bullets in the front of it. Here you go, here's the whole wiring for this engine bay. 
little bug. Oh, here's the Z. We found the Z here a while ago. We grabbed a whole bunch of parts off of it. I even grabbed the trans out of it. Let's see what's left of it now. Jeez. This thing got torn apart. Dang, someone broke the third brake light. That's unfortunate. It was in one piece. Still has most of the dash. I was debating to grab this out of here. Looks like someone also took the front end. If I don't blame them, it was pretty nice looking. Unfortunately, it looks like my batteries are running low on my camera. But thanks to today's video sponsor, that won't be an issue. Just plug these in, let them charge for a little bit. This power bank by Vever could just be one of the most handy tools to have on deck. With the amount of electronics people have these days, it's not unlikely that you're gonna need something to charge up while you're on the go. During the past week, I've been testing this product. I charged my phone and my camera using only this device, never plugged it into the wall, and it still has over half a charge left on it. And since I've been testing it out, I know it'll be perfect for a weekend or a week long camping trip. And I'm really looking forward to bringing this with me to track events because I know it's gonna be so handy. It could power a grill, lights, maybe even power tools. Yes, power tools. I actually just tested it out and it works flawlessly. This is also capable of fast charging. Another cool feature is it tells you the battery percentage, but it also gives you an estimate of how many hours are left in the charge, as well as the wattage being used, which I find pretty interesting. This could also be useful to store in your car in case of an emergency. And there's even a little flashlight on the side. How convenient. Or if you're like me, you could use it to charge your camera batteries or your laptop while you're on the go. Vever also offers a wide variety of automotive tooling. I actually already have this welding cart by them and also this wheelie chair, which I love. I'll attach the link below so you guys can check out their products. I decided to put this power station to the ultimate test. So I brought it to the skate park and let's see if it can run CarX on my Xbox. Drifting at the skate park. Never thought that was possible, but thanks to this power bank, it is. And just like that, they're done charging. Thanks, Vever. Still has the engine though. Here's that Chevy Monza. Wait, what? No freaking way. Is that what I think it is? An old 240 just sitting by itself? What? I knew I'd find something at this yard. Let's see what we got. All right, it's a shark nose, which means it's a dual cam car, if that's an original bumper. What is this? Okay, interesting. ABS car, that's unusual. Looks like someone already decided to destroy stuff. Good job. Bondo headlight. It is a dual cam. So far, this is the only mod I see is an aftermarket intake filter. Jeez, the rust is so bad on this. <laughs> the frame rails, non-existent. Even the fender, holy crap. I've never seen a fender rust like that. Shock tower is just gone. Same with the hood. Man, this thing is probably sitting under a tree. Look at the moss that's growing on the side of it. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> There's nothing left of this. There's the fuse box. Just fell. There's nothing to hold it up. All right, let's check out the inside. Busted door handle. Busted glass. <laughs> Fox sticker. Okay. Oh, it does not smell good. <laughs> oh, it smells like straight up piss. Holy crap. All right. Manual? What? It's not horrible, but at the same time, it's very horrible. The speaker covers are rusted. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, it smells so bad in here. It has the original floor mats. Too bad they're absolutely destroyed though. I wanna grab stuff out of here, but it just, whew, it smells so bad. Pop the hatch. Oh, looks like someone already tried to. Okay, hopefully it opens. It's 
got the foam wing actually still attached. Okay, complete hatch interior. Oh, why is this ripped out right here? What the heck? The rest of it's fine. Look at the gunk built up within the quarter panel seam. All along. This thing has definitely been sitting for a few years. Oh, that's full of water. Oh, it's gross. <laughs> that's so nasty. I want to see how the rear seats look. They look like they could be clean. Oh. There we go. Man, this door card is messed up too. I was gonna grab it. Otherwise, it looks great. <laughs> Just coming up because I bet it's so rusty. There's nothing holding the seat in. Oh, holy crap! No way! All right, well, let's see if the seats are good at least. Oh, it doesn't look. That does not look good. It's not looking too promising in here. I need to fold that seat forward. I don't see anything savable on this car yet. I was gonna take out the entire chassis harness. I was thinking about it, but now, looking at the condition of this car, oh, there goes the hatch. I don't know if it's worth it, because I'm sure some of these connectors are full of corrosion just from sitting out. Like it almost seems like this door was open while it was sitting. You can even see the moss in here. But all right, let's see the seats at least. I like don't want to touch anything. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm going to throw up. What is that? What? Here's the VIN if anyone wants to look it up. 69, oh, that would have been a cool one. This may possibly be the rustiest 240 I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of rusty 240s. I've never seen it rust out here. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh. Like, that was part of the frame rail. This is the subframe, and this is where the subframe attaches to the car. There is nothing there, absolutely nothing. I'm surprised the subframe didn't fall off and they lifted it up. So I'm sure they used the forklift or maybe that forklift truck. Yeah, I'm not even gonna take any of that suspension. <laughs> Is the windshield at least good on this? It's an OEM windshield, very unusual. I don't see any cracks. Although it is scratched from the wiper blades. Classic duct taped coolant overflow because it always cracks right there. Yep, there's the hole. Fuse box cover, that's one thing so far. Another thing I was thinking about grabbing this KA. Probably not worth it. Let's see if it has oil actually. Let's start there. Clean. No way. It's like golden. All right, all right. I want to see if it spins, but I'm not trying to like take all this apart. Although I might have to. It looks like it also has full AC. Although I don't know if that'd be worth taking out because of how corroded this is. It might just break. And what happened with this core support? Holy crap. Well, I guess these A pillar trims and B pillar trim would be good to take. I guess the rubber is still good on here too. Marley. Sunroof. Let's see if that latch is broken. Uh, is that spiderweb? Yep, that's spiderweb. Oh, there's a bunch of spiderwebs. Nissan 240SX, Halloween edition. Surprisingly, this quarter panel looks somewhat, oh, I was gonna say it looks decent, but this is filled in with Bondo. Also, orange, this is supposed to be red. This is a front marker that's broken and broken in half. More rust going on back here. It's just, man, oh, it just smells so bad. Glove box. No way. SE Sports Package. Oh, it says it came automatic. I wonder if this was manual swapped. This must have been the dealership. Oh yeah, it was. Look at that. 
Wait, this isn't even the right car, is it? This is for a 1990. Oh, look, a whole piece of Bondo in here. This thing doesn't even have mirrors. I feel like this wing is pretty sick, but they just should not have made it out of foam from the factory. You never really get to see these wings. And the reason people take them off is because this is what it does to your trunk. Oh, this is actually not broken. One good piece on this car. <laughs> and it was spliced in. <laughs> no way. This will be our save pile. Man, rust on top of the fender. I can't get over that. Unfortunately, the center vent is already busted, but I do want to try and take out the dash vents because these are not broken. And if you know anything about 240s, they're either always broken or not broken yet. And these are not broken yet. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think the floor is supposed to do that. I like don't want to sit in this car at all. Oh, it smells so bad. Probably gonna get sick. Start there and just work your way down. Cause if you just pry this up right here, it'll just explode. Patience, patience. This one's not cooperating already. Oh, and there's mouse poop just popping up. That's disgusting, jeez. Yes, yes, no way we got it. Well, at least half of it, there's poop on it. I've once taken out a set of these, set them down on the bench, went and did something, came back, and they're broken in half. And I still to this day have no idea what happened. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Oh my, same thing with this side. You can see the rocker panel move in. That's unreal. I've never seen a car this rusty. Well, I have seen a car this rusty, but not a 240 this rusty. So far, so good. Good. Did we get it? Yes. Two for two. Oh my gosh. It's so relieving getting these off without breaking them. This one still didn't blow up. All right, good. And I'm also going to check if there's still an ECU, which judging by this panel, looks like it's never been taken off or not in a long time. So I think there is one. Look at these wipes. How long do you think these have been sitting here? It's probably the first time they've seen sunlight. I was going to open that out of curiosity. That'd be a bad idea. Wow, I'm surprised this screw is actually coming out. It's so rusty. I thought it was going to strip for sure. Oh, I forgot you got to take this off. Oh, it has all these clips. That's hard to find. These little floor trim screws. It does have the ECU. Out of curiosity, I wanted to look at this owner's manual. And it's a 96. What is this, Nismo? Nismo injectors. That's pretty cool. Nismo catalog. Nismo coils. Back then they were, well, basically $1,700. Clutch, LSD. Man, this is cool. I didn't know that was a thing. All right, definitely taking that. And might as well take this. Twenty-six. I thought it was supposed to be a 28. I'm gonna look up what a 26 is. All right, so I just looked it up on my phone. I went through the list of serial numbers and matched it up to the ECU. And this is actually from a 91 KA24DE. So this is all original because it even says here it's a 91. So I ended up grabbing a few more parts off of this car. Finally found one of these intake to throttle body adapters. Engine harness plugs for the 300ZX build. The badge off the front, headlight motor cover and the alternator fuse. And now we're able to look at the throttle body and see how crusty it is. It doesn't even move, I'm trying to open it. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's so sticky. Another rare thing that's on this car, distributor cap. This is probably the second cover I've ever seen. The first one 
was on the other 240 I found in the junkyard, which is actually the KA that's in my Z. Oh, how many miles are on this? I forgot to check. <coughs> Almost 200K. Well, I think I got just about everything off of this car. Even the shift boot is just destroyed. <coughs> gonna leave my tools and parts in a car that no one's gonna look at. And we'll continue exploring the yard. Hmm. Camber gang. Chrome. What the heck happened to this hood? They probably had to cut the hood open to disconnect the battery while the car was on fire. That's my guess. I don't know. Mercedes. Whoa, AMG wheels. I'm not a Mercedes guy, but I know AMG is above stock. They're pretty nice. All four? Um, that one's being used as a jack stand. <laughs> but there's three. Pretty cool paint job for its time though. Full work truck. Let's see what's in here. Man, think of all the tools you can put in this thing. <laughs> Is this the exhaust storage? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is a cool little display. A gas tank cut in half. That's pretty cool to see the lining. Here's the float. It's actually upside down. It's supposed to go this way. So this tells you how much fuel you have in the car. Empty, full. It just reads off this potentiometer. And this is EVAP. Takes the fumes from on top of the gas tank to the intake manifold. <laughs> There's a bunch more gas tanks. All right, what was this car? I do not know. My guess is Volkswagen. Mercedes wagon. You never see these. This one's pretty rusty though. Not bad. Decent interior. Dodge Neon. SXT. Okay, this was something I always thought was weird with these cars. The front has power windows, right? The back doors, crank windows. Isn't that strange? I, that's just so weird to me. There are so many cars here. Oh my gosh. These cars always had such a weird shape. It gave me a weird vibe. Never understood the trunk line. Locked. No body damage though. This thing is actually really clean. There is no dents. Why is this in here? Oh, a little dent. Big doors. I feel like this car is the equivalent to a Lexus SC300, but an American version. It actually smells really nice in here. It smells like cologne. Oh, that's cool. Buttons on top like that. Fancy. It's so light and bright in here. This gray is, I don't know, it's too much. <laughs> I like black interior, but it is very clean. 130K on it. It's like a little deck. I wouldn't mind a dash set up like this. Set your GPS here. Little Firebird. A black Jeep Cherokee. Single cam. I know a lot of you are going to comment that I should have had boots, but even with boots, this would still be a nightmare. I thought there was an eclipse here. Unless they crushed it already. Rusty TSX. Oh yeah, here we go. Nissan Versa. No free rides, gas or ass. Wow, that looks very uncomfortable to be pumping gas like that. With tinted taillights. VIP section over here. Dang, GS300? <sighs> oh my god. This thing got smashed. It's a pretty good hit. Interesting wing. <laughs> what do you think this wing came off of? You can see the clips where it's supposed to go into the trunk. 
basically when you take a wing from a car it usually looks good on any car you put it on this is not the case nothing lines up a newer bmw 645 ci looks like an accord honestly we've made it back to this integra and i just realized this thing is on coilovers pro series oh they're skunk too that would be a good deal to grab those oh it's missing one it's literally just missing one not your average girlfriend's car so is this a girl's car? JDM girl. I guess it was. 216K. I love these headlights though. These have the halos on the inside. I had those on one of my old Integras. Back to this old girl. May you rest in peace. I want to come back and look at the Z because I bought the window, the quarter glass window out of this car a couple months ago and they said it was busted. I was like, no, it wasn't. I was here, I was the first one here. And it looks like they took it out. Let's see what the other side looks like. This side's busted, it wasn't though. Looks like they were trying to get this one out actually. Really poorly. You guys are not gonna believe this, but when I was checking out, they had the quarter glass already pulled for me. But whenever I called the store, they said, oh, we don't have it. But you know what, I'll take it. <laughs> 300 SX. <laughs> Everything here, including the window, was around $100. Not bad. Not too bad. This ECU is probably worth $100 by itself. Although I don't buy parts just to resell them. I really just buy them to keep the cars rolling. And once you get in a friend group that has the same car as you, eventually someone's gonna need the parts that you have. So if you have multiples, you're able to help out your homies. Yeah, this would look really good on here. Now we'll load up the work truck. But these are definitely sitting shotgun with me. Those are fragile. Even got the gas in here refilled. And as for the shoes, you need to toss these in the washing machine or toss them. But I have a feeling I'll be back at this yard someday. So those will be my muddy junkyard shoes. Thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. And I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Sometimes it'll automatically unsubscribe you. So make sure you're not one of the culprits. And why is this car so low?